Hey guys, welcome back. Chef Nano here. Thank you for joining me this evening. Today, I am going to be making some lovely Thai coconut curry soup. The reason I'm doing this is I keep getting messages, Nano, 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 please do some Asian food for me. So here it is tonight. Here's my take on some Thai curry soup. Uh, so I'm going to be pairing that with some crazy things tonight. I'm going to be doing some skewered shrimp. I'm also going to be doing some uh, steamed sea bass but this is a euro sea bass that i i prefer to use i know normally you'd use a tilapia or something but this is my take this is how i do it i'm not uh stopping it i want to do it my way and that's okay too you can do it your way as well so this is my take i hope you enjoy this video the next video up coming up is going to be my shrimp and the video after that is me putting this dish together all together again thank you for joining me if you are liking these uh videos please hit that subscribe button below and join me for the next one so, as I said, we're going to be doing this Thai curry soup tonight. I've got my mixer. I've got some simple ingredients for you. Simple, simple, simple recipe that you can do, I can do, anyone can do. So, I'm going to start very quickly. Um, I've got some uh, beautiful ingredients today. I've got some cilantro, which has been washed and prepped. I'm going to throw that right in uh, my Vitamix or my Ninja, as I'm using today. Uh, I've also got some Thai chili basil. I'm going to throw that in there as well. I'm also going to uh, add in one can of coconut milk. We're going to use that whole can up. Don't be shy. We're also going to be pairing it with some uh, chicken stock when we cook it down a little bit later as well. I'm going to throw some scallions in there as well. I'm going to throw some fish sauce in there. I'm using about two tablespoons. Nothing crazy. Everybody says this stuff stinks. I, I, I love it. Anything with Thai, uh, Thai food, even Vietnamese food, I use that uh, fish sauce. So, so, so good. Enjoy every minute of it. Uh, I also have some uh, red curry paste. So I'm going to be using this in the, as well. I've cooked this down. I've put it aside. I bought it at my local grocery store. Nothing crazy. Simple, simple recipe that you can do at home. I'm just going to add that in there as well. I also have a little bit of oyster sauce. This is not traditional. They don't use oyster sauce in Thai curry, feel, uh, Thai curry soup. I do. I like the flavor. It gives a little bit of sweetness to it. I'm just going to add about a tablespoon of that in there as well. Uh, I have a clove of garlic as well as a clove, or a clove, but the same size as the clove of garlic of ginger. Uh, it's not called a clove. I don't even know what it's called. Uh, and I'm going to throw a little bit of brown sugar in there as well. Now, the reason for the brown sugar, it's just going to give it a little bit of sweetness. Uh, I don't want that overpowered um, uh, flavor of curry. I want to give it a little bit more depth of flavor, uh, which is great. And that's why I'm using that, uh, that uh, brown sugar in there. I also have one lime. I'm going to squeeze the whole lime in there. I'm going to try and use every little drop, last strip of that. Now, I'm also going to be pairing this when be garnishing it with some lime later when we uh, do the uh, whole soup itself. So I'm just going to throw that right in there, squeeze all that juice in there. We're going to put this off aside because I'm going to show you what I can do in another video with what, the, what I do with these uh, rinds. So I also have a little bit of these bird's eye chilies. Now, these are quite spicy. I love them. Uh, be careful with them. You can quite, you know, if you use too many, you're going to burn your butt. Simple as that. So I'm going to use two this time, not too many. Wash your hands right after you use them because if you want to touch your eye, touch your face, it's going to burn, burn, burn. Uh, so you usually, normally use people use serrano peppers, but because that bird's eye chili is so hot, I'm going to be using a little bit of a jalapeno. A lot of people use serrano or maybe even an Anaheim chili. I'm going to use a little bit of a jalapeno. I prefer the jalapeno. Like I said, we're going to tone it down. I'm not just going to have that uh, bird's eye chili in there. We're going to give it a little bit of uh, a depth of flavor with that jalapeno as well. So we're going to throw that right in there. Nothing crazy. We're going to blend this off. We're going to uh, make it all consistently smooth. I don't want to do that in this video because last time I did it, it was so loud you couldn't hear me. So we're going to blend this off. Then we're going to add one and a half cups of chicken stock to our pot. We're going to simmer that down. We're going to make our broth out of it. And we're going to keep doing that for about 30 minutes. After that's done, we're going to strain it. We're going to add a little bit of lemongrass. Sorry, we're going to add lemongrass to that uh, stock while we're cooking it for 30 minutes. We're going to uh, take that off. We're going to strain it. We're going to keep it aside. We're going to add our noodles, but that's going to be in our next video. Thank you again for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit that subscribe button down below and we'll see you soon. Have a great day. Thanks again. Hope to see you on chefnanos.com.